All right, here at the Exploratorium, they have a pendulum. Pendulum swings back and forth in simple harmonic motion. Well, this is no ordinary pendulum. This is a pendulum into which we can pour sand. And if we pour sand, it's going to fall onto this table. Watch what happens. The sand begins to create a wave pattern. A wave is a tracing of an object undergoing simple harmonic motion. The amplitude of the wave is a function of the pendulum. The energy of the pendulum produces the energy in the waves. Distance between waves is a wavelength. Amplitude of a sound wave is a function of loudness. Of a light wave, the amplitude is a function of brightness. The frequency of this wave is a function of the pendulum's period of oscillation, and it's determined by the length of the pendulum and the planet we happen to be standing on. Can't change that. In this display, we can see that the circular motion produced by the round object, the projection of that is a linear motion. Let's see if I can get it right. So we're getting pretty close. The pendulum motion, the shadow of the rotating object, are almost lined up now. The frequency of oscillation for a pendulum is a function of its length. Uh, this deflects it. And we can see that the shorter ones swing faster, the longer ones swing slower, giving us a pretty cool demonstration of pendulum motion. Now, there's certain mathematical relationships between these frequencies, obviously. The function of length and the acceleration due to gravity. Mass really doesn't come into play, interestingly enough. And they appear to line back up again. Pretty cool, huh? I really like this. This is kind of...